Hi, hi Facebook. Hi everyone watching. I am Kate obviously because you're on my Facebook page. Uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and talk about um, what to do when your child has ear infections or have recurrent ones and certain things like that there. And so I'm gonna do a little like diagram. Hopefully you guys can see this here uh, regarding that. And so, oh my gosh, there's so, so many kids. There's a reason why I'm talking about this because time and time again, it's more like every now and then kids start school again, kids start getting sick, certain things like that. We hear things about ear infections, or, you know, oh no, sh the, if you have a baby, you know, oh no, my baby's like tugging their ear, or oh no, they're crying nonstop, or oh no, uh, it's another one ear infection coming in. I thought I did this with antibiotics. I thought, you know, went away. Now it's coming back again. What do I do? Oh my gosh oh my gosh kind of thing right and so i'm going to briefly talk about that um on what to do what to do before to prevent them from getting one um what to do prevent them from getting one when they have one what do you do and now they're done with one what are you supposed to do from there too and so first things first right what is it ear infections what type of ear infections are there so there's different kinds the most common common one that you hear a lot about your kids or um, when your kids are younger is the middle ear infection so if we can go ahead and show my little diagram here good thing I don't have to um, post a big poster board because I was gonna print this out the difference between the infant one and the adult ear um, canal so as you can see here, most of the middle ear infection, this is like a, not a very fun way to do this right now. The middle ear infection right here is where right past, um, if you know where your eardrum is, past that is exactly where that most of that fluid comes from. So if you're talking about, um, you know, when doctors diagnose that middle ear infection, that exactly is where it's coming from. And so you can see from the difference between the baby's ear canal in the adult ear canal. Do you see the difference there? Those two things, just a brief overview of what this is before I go ahead and tell you how to treat. Um, so basically how to uh, help you with that is, um, you see how the infant's ear canal is more horizontal and then you see the, the adults, it's slanted downward. So there's a reason for that. And so if you know when you get sick or certain things like that, you hear it get the sniffle, something's going on all clogged up and all of a sudden you get a whole bunch of snot and mucus coming out and all canals in that area that's a reason for that so when that happens there's a reason for that because it's not draining downward and when that's happening they get stuck in there it gets um all in that dampness things develop of infections get inflamed it's annoying and babies cry and certain things like that and how do you fix that right how do you prevent from that happening now from harvard health um they said that up to 80 percent of ear infections actually go away 80 percent go away without antibiotics that's what oh my gosh the harvard health said and so crazy right so what are you supposed to do when your child literally is diagnosed that ear infection are you supposed to let them cry what are you, what are you supposed to do right and so they found that because that it goes away they do almost like a wait wait and see kind of period now i know as a lot of moms that i work with they do not want to wait and see um as their baby are crying and screaming of oh, literally your ears are hurting right they don't want to do that and so what do you do what's the best way to make sure that when they're getting that what what are you supposed to help them naturally because a lot of times medications aren't tested on kids to know exactly what's going on they just kind of test and trial period and see if this works because it worked for adults and so what is it that you do, right, to find it naturally? And so there's um, three different ways that you can do for three different essentials. And so the first one, to make sure that their baby is hydrated. A lot of times when you have infection, you want to make sure water is into their cells, everything's draining as much as they can, because when you're dehydrated or when the baby's dehydrated or whoever's having ear infection is dehydrated, you, you literally, things don't flow out and get stuck in the area even more. That's when you feel the baby getting all hot and fever. Now, when they're having certain things like, you know, fever and then loss of hearing, now that's a, like a metal emergency because that's literally high prime uh, infection. Now, those things like emergency room are needed because of those reasons. Now, if they're not doing that and you feel that hotness in their area, hydration is the number one thing to make sure you get that done um, for the, the baby. Now, the second essential that we want to 
to go ahead and look at is make sure that the nutrients that the baby's eating, um, breastfeeding is a very, very good way to make sure that the babies are getting the, um, the natural immunity from the mom or what's going on in the environment. Make sure they're getting rid of whatever it is that's in them faster, right? So that's number one. If you're breastfeeding, good, good thing. Now, number two is making sure that they don't have or aren't eating um, anything like um, processed foods, sugar. Sugar increases inflammation. You want to make sure you low, decrease that. Now, any Anything like processed foods, you want to also get rid of that when they have ear infections too. And so um, when you, you know, when kids are kind of crying for like candy or for, um, you know, certain things like that, try to not give that to them. If you can literally cut it out and just, you know, how the um, certain things of people um, have certain toys in front of the baby's face, just literally hide them and get rid of them so they can't ask for you or ask for them. And uh, the third thing, make sure everything's aligned there. And why you want to make sure alignment, right? What does that have to do with anything? And so when that happens, when you have the um, the baby's ear canal, it's literally horizontal, things don't drain as well. And now what happens is, because of any kind of birth trauma that may happen when they're coming out of the womb, um, or you know, the, the birth birthing canal, that can literally misalign certain things that can't let the drainage go down as fast. Um, and it gets stuck in there, right? And so a lot of times, you know, when babies start learning to um, crawl, start learning to walk, or certain things like that, that can come about, certain things can get misaligned because they fall in a certain reason. Even a little mini misaligned because their bones are so fragile at that moment. That's the reason why chiropractors, pediatric chiropractors, make sure to see exactly what's going on in their cervicals and in their uh, the rest of their spine to make sure everything's flowing as best as it can. Make sure all the lymph nodes are being drawn rain as their body continues and starts to heal and the third thing that is prevention like what do you do to prevent from ear infections so a lot of times tubes may be one of the the further down area a lot of times tubes is not the best way because even though um you can have now that's this is the dilemma here when you have tubes there just to let um, moms and dads know too when you have tubes um in the infant's ear the baby's ear when they have recurrent ear infections, that's, that's literally constant poking into the eardrum, it's causing scar tissue in that area. And that can cause a lot of things like hearing loss, smile hearing loss for the baby, for the, the kid, and also when they grow up as adults too. And that literally does not go away because of the scar tissue. And that's the reason why prevention is very, very important to make sure they you have the baby or the infant or the child making sure they're fighting off the, their infection fast and there's three different ways to prevent that so i go with tic-tac-toe <laughs> so tick for the first one is make sure you avoid toxins like i mentioned earlier uh, toxins may be you know cigarette smoke secondhand smoke that can cause mucus buildup i saw a documentary um a, a little bit ago where um it was in england where a lot of smokers dads were smokers and then they uh the kids have reoccurring ear infections because of that mucus formation that's happening so toxins that come about and also i mentioned uh sugar inflammation certain things like that are also certain toxins in the body when the body's trying to heal that's why natural foods organic foods are very very important to make sure you have that nutrients too uh the second thing the tic tac tac two two <laughs> is making sure that the, the the baby or child is eating the most nutritious things right right nala nutritious thing you see you want to go ahead and see who's down here <laughs> nutritious thing for the baby for your child to make sure they have the right ingredients to fight off whatever that is to fight off because a lot of times when you're in um certain things of you know when your body doesn't have what it needs to do all it wants to do is making sure you sleep and have that recuperation so it heals better so you make sure you your body the child's body your child's body have the right nutrients before these things happen so they don't so ba basically fight off the infection faster and the third thing the tic-tac-toe number three toe <laughs> is making sure movement and flow is um also going happening in the child so when that's happening you want to make sure you know the baby's not always in a car seat because that literally crunches things certain things down um making sure the the baby's doing a cross crawl pattern you know those exercises those tummy times that it's talking about and also a lot of times when the alignment is not happening because 
because of certain things where the baby falls um, or uh, that birth trauma that may happen or there's certain things that you know you don't notice and the baby's sleeping that can actually cause certain shifts in in the body of certain stressors that can all, also misalign that's why you really really want a pediatric chiropractor that knows what they're doing and know um, that's near you to make sure you can sleep getting the baby checked make sure everything flows and have movement um, working too so then they can have the highest optimal um, immune system for your baby to fight off whatever needs to fight off the fastest as they can when it comes about that's um that's the three different things of tic-tac-toe so just to sum that up there um the three different things uh for the first one let the body heal so let the body heal make sure you you know you kind of do not more than a wait and see kind of aspect making sure that you give your baby the best three things i mentioned after that which is the water the hydration the nutrients um and also the alignment making sure the flow there too and so prevention wise this is the best and most effective way that i notice most of my patients and um other people in the research evidence based wise the best way to make sure you don't have recurrent ear infections a lot of times certain things that may not come up that we want to avoid um surgery and medications whether it's not needed there in the first place because a lot of times antibiotics may help for a certain time but a lot of times you have that recurrent that's a lot of the gut uh, bacteria can be wiped out because of that reason there too so if you sh like this information if you want to share with a friend or if you know that friend that can't once um a friend that is really beneficial to hear this, go ahead and tag them below, share with them whatever it is, and hopefully you can share this information, making sure that your babies are healthy, your child is healthy, without having all this different nasty achiness where they don't need to, and strong, healthy bodies.